Hello, today we're going to do QRT plot. QRT plot is a scientific graphing software available for different operating systems from Windows to Linux and others. We are going to concentrate on benchmark examples of some commonly used plots starting the program. If you are on Windows, select Start QRT plot or click on the icon on the desktop or some other directory in which you save the program or by searching for QT plot using the search field that comes up when you click the start button. When you open the program, the following window will appear. The program will open with table 1 by default, showing two columns, one X and two Y. And of course, there are several menus, drop down menus, which we are going to see later on. Uh, we may go on to use some of these, or you may have the liberty of exploiting them yourself. The first thing you want to do is to be able to adjust them, the number of columns you want. And to do this, you go to Table, Add Columns, and you're going to have another column added. You can do this for as many columns as you want. There are two ways to set the individual column coordinate as X, Y, or Z. The first way is going to be by right-clicking the heading of a column. For example, 1X to highlight. Then select Table, Set Column as. So we go to Table and you look down the drop down menu set column as and you can choose x y z or you can choose for x arrow y arrow and a host of other things repeating the same for 2y we could set is as we wish a typical scenario will be to have 1x 2y 3y set as the arrow. So you set 1x, 2y, and the arrow bars go into 3y. The second way will be to right click the heading of a column to highlight and you go down to set as and you're still going to have the same kind of drop down menu like we saw before. Also notice from the drop down menu the possibility to do other things like frequency counts, statistics, inserting further columns, adding columns, sorting the table, adjusting column width and a host of other things. To begin analyzing data, you want to add data to your table. Based on what computer you use, there may be different conventions for writing numbers. A decimal point is a simple period or full stop, as in English, while it will be a comma in German, Spanish or Italian. Beware if you're using a computer with an operating system that trades commas for decimal points. To check this, select, edit, preferences, and you're going to see several options you can manipulate beginning from application, confirmations, colors, numeric format, file locations, internet connection. But we want here to concentrate on numeric format. So you have to choose it to the convention which is best to the system you're using. Just be sure the format shown there is the one you're going to use. If it is not, you can change that to your choice. After choosing the right format, click Apply and OK. Once that is done, you want to start adding data. Data can be written directly into the cells or can be imported. In addition to the number format we've talked about before, it is worth knowing that data can be imported in IC formats like text files ending with txt 
command separated value files ending with .csv or Excel files ending with .xls. For those using machines to generate data for their work, it is worth taking time to know the different formats your machine uses to communicate data. Getting the right data from the beginning saves time needed later in cleaning and preparing the data for analysis. We will get into some specifics concerning handling of the different kinds of data on an example-based approach. First, let us get some plots.